The Dragon is the only spacecraft currently flying that is capable of returning significant amount of cargo to Earth and is the first private spacecraft to take humans to the space station. Like Dragon 1, the crewed version is a capsule design, making it more similar to the Apollo command modules that carried astronauts to the Moon than the space shuttle concept which was conceived to carry both a crew and a large payload. From launch up until shortly before re-entry, the capsule is attached to a section called the trunk, which has solar panels, heat removal radiators and fins to provide stability during emergency aborts. Together, the capsule and trunk stand around 8.1 meters tall with a diameter of 4 meters. The Crew Dragon is equipped with 16 Draco thrusters that are used to maneuver the vehicle in orbit. Each Draco is capable of producing 90 pounds of force in the vacuum of space. Probably one of the biggest features of Dragon are the touchscreens on the inside. They are designed not just to be very functional, but with the user experience in mind. There are three different seat sizes. SpaceX can even go so far as molding the foam around the astronaut's body, so there is not any pressure points and it's just a pleasurable journey into space. But in case anything goes wrong on the pad or during the climb to orbit, SpaceX has designed an innovative abort system for the capsule. The launch escape system consists of a set of Super Draco engines that fire in the event of an emergency to propel the capsule and its crew safely away from the rocket. The capsule design is safer than a winged vehicle under most circumstances. Crew Dragon is also designed to be two-fold tolerant. This means that any two things can fail, such as flight computer and a thruster, and the spacecraft can still bring the crew home safely. The vehicle is designed to dock with the space station autonomously, that is, without having to be guided in by a human. There are GPS sensors on Dragon, but also cameras and imaging sensors, such as LiDAR on the nose cone. All these sensors are feeding data back to the flight computer to calculate the distance to the space station and the relative velocity. The flight computer then uses algorithms that determine, based on this information, how to fire the thrusters to most effectively get to the docking target. The vehicle's lifetime in orbit is limited to a few months because of its solar panels, which degrade in the harsh environment of space. When it returns to Earth, the Crew Dragon can't simply land on a runway like the Space Shuttle. During re-entry, the heat shield must survive temperatures hotter than the surface of the Sun as the Crew Dragon descends through the atmosphere at up to 25 times the speed of sound. The material used in Crew Dragon's heat shield is ablative. It slowly burns away at high temperatures to carry away much of the extreme heat. There is a minor chance that the spacecraft's asymmetric design driven by the placement of its emergency escape system, could cause it to roll too much. Elon Musk has said in the past that this issue, known as roll instability, has been extensively studied, but that it still worries him. After the fiery re-entry phase, the spacecraft needs to deploy four parachutes to slow its descent. Finally, the Crew Dragon splashes down in the Atlantic Ocean, 450 kilometers off the coast of Florida, where recovery ships can take the astronauts to safety and retrieve the capsule. This spacecraft Crew Dragon is SpaceX design from start to finish. Make no mistake about that. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and may the force be with you always.